www.vietnamfreedomzone.com and for the past several days I've been here in Vietnam, uh, more specifically in Saigon in the city of Ho Chi Minh. And I've been to a lot of different places all around the world and one of the things that I've seen in common among all these different places, no matter where I am, no matter the language they speak, no matter the cultural background, is that they always have a Starbucks or a McDonald's literally on every block. Now, one thing I found interesting here in, uh, in Ho Chi Minh City is that even though I've been around for, uh, for the past several days, uh, all around the town, what I've noticed is there's a grand total of zero Starbucks and zero McDonald's. Why do I find that interesting? Well, uh, for one, it kind of opens up the market, uh, the local market more specifically, for a lot of different opportunities. Even though there aren't any Starbucks out here, I do see within every one mile radius there are dozens of different coffee shops. Uh, what that also opens up in terms of opportunity is that instead of having a lot of fast food joints like McDonald's or Burger King, uh, what that opened up the opportunity for is for right here locally, they have their own fast food joint called the Lotteria. Now what does that mean for you? It means that if you're in the market where you think it's kind of oversaturated and you think that there's too many big brands or too much competition, there's actually something you can do about it. Uh, one really good example is what, even when I do searches on Google here in Vietnam, a lot of the different markets and a lot of different niches that normally would have pages and pages of, of AdWords ads, uh, they actually don't have any AdWords ads or very little competition. So what that means for you is that if you think you are in a market where you can't compete in, uh, I would go ahead and do some more deeper research on the geographic targeting as well as the different countries and languages that people speak because you might find that there might be some additional ways that you can compete in other parts of the world. So what I would encourage you to do is you know, install Google Analytics on your website and see what parts of the world people are coming from uh, as well as what language they speak and do a couple searches on Google Trend as well uh, to make sure that you find out exactly where your market is, uh, is the most or where they're hanging out. And once you find that product niche uh, or service that you're looking for, uh, you might discover that you're sitting on a gold mine uh, for maybe one of these cities uh, that you have never even thought of and maybe one of these days you can meet up on business uh, one of these really cool trips somewhere around the world and make one of these cool marketing videos together.